this is Betty and welcome back to my channel. I have a quick project share today. I've been playing with Scrap Diva Designs really really cute dies uh, for her June release. Um, here is all of her information. I'm sure a lot of you already know who Scrap Diva um, is and um, you can use the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs for inspiration. Um, using her dies. So her um, recent uh, release was so cute. I've been seeing all of the cute projects that everybody has been creating and I wanted to play with this cute little toaster die as well as the toast and it comes with egg and a fork. I didn't use um, the egg or the fork this time and I kept these together in case I wanted to do a shaker but I used the cute little toast to go in the toaster. And the card I'm gonna share with you today, the mechanism for the card was completely inspired by Jen Cassell. I will leave a link to her tutorial below. Uh, for this card. I did not follow the tutorial. I used these dies right here that I picked up from Michaels over the weekend. Um, this is called the Slider Cutting Dies by Recollections. It comes with um, 18 pieces. It also comes with the little disc. I didn't use that right here. I didn't use that. Um, I just used the circle that came uh, with this die set. So if you're interested in this slider die, you can pick this up from Michaels. Uh, and I think you may want it after seeing Jen's video, her tutorial. She has some really awesome tips and I just love the card she created um, using that toaster die. I also pulled out this strawberry die. Really, really cute. This sweet die by um, Cat Scrappiness. I pulled out the Stitch Tab die by uh, My Creative Time. And then I pulled out this die set right here by Amazing Paper Grace. Um, this is a stamp and die set. I did not use the dies, I just used the stamp that says pull here. So I use that. I use some distress inks. I use the tea dye. And lastly, I use this embossing folder. It's called Oxford by um, Cricut. And here is my five by seven card, you guys. I am in a one-on-one -on -one swap with my good friend Markeisha. And it's our summer sweet treat theme um, swap. And I could not wait to pull out this toaster die and create this fun card. So I use the um, Prima strawberry um, milkshake paper and you can see I use that uh, strawberry printed paper for my toaster. Here's where I use the embossing down here at the bottom. Here's a strawberry with a cute little ladybug. This die set right here of the uh, strawberry um, uh, ice cream sundae is from um, Cottage Cuts. I already had that put together in my stash. And um, look at the bread, you guys. I have that strawberry print on the bread. I thought that would be really, really cute to go with my toaster. And um, here's the fun part, the interactive part for this card. I have a uh, pull here. When you pull it, the bread pops out of the toaster. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I just had to create that fun card. I thought that was just too cute. I got to do it one more time. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Isn't that fun? Oh, my goodness. When I saw this card, I was like, okay, I got to do that card. That's just too cute. Here's the inside of the card right here. I hadn't put my message inside yet. And here's the back. You can see the sweet here. Yeah. I put some enamel dots here. And then I love the paint splatter. I just love the uh, look of the paint splatter. It just gives it uh, that whimsical vibe. And I just really, really love that. This is my card share for you today. Um, if you like what I created, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, if you would like to join my YouTube family, all you have to do is just hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram, Scrap Passion 01. You can check me out over there. And until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye.